Hello Angelou and welcome back. I'm here to tell you how we can carry on winning this term. What? Huh? Oh. Okay. Apparently I have to tell everyone how to try and win. Here we go. Now, as always, one of the best ways for all of you, Angelou, to get house points is by receiving things like merits and commendations. Now, while we are all at home, you know that there are KAA at home merits available and these will be put straight on Sims by your teacher. Some brilliant work and showing our core values, you are sure to get lots of these. Now, we have a new thing this half term, which is our Core Values Award. You can see here that it's worth 100 house points, and there will be four people from each house picked every week. So please make sure you're aiming to get that, especially Angelou. Now, the only thing I want to say to you is how many house points will you win this half term? You can see here Miss Clayton has done very well and got given a commendation straight away. That might have been because he turned up to every single one of his Google Meets. It might be because he completed all of his work this week. Well done, Mr Clayton. Or he could have even been given a Core Values Award. So keep getting those house points, Angelou, well, maybe the rest of you as well, and we will see how well we do. And now your competition begins. Do you think that you can be the next Sherlock Holmes? Well, if the answer is yes, then you need to participate in the code breaking challenge. Who can get involved? Well, this is open to Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4 students. So Year 7, Year 8, Year 9, Year 10 and Year 11. This will open up on the 18th of January. You need to hand it in by the 5th of February on a Google quiz. Really, really good luck. By the way, even though Honeyball is in fifth place, we are definitely going to sleuth our way to the top. Bye! Or maybe drama's more your speed. Oh my goodness, I'm just so thrilled to receive this award. My work is my life. I absolutely love all things drama. Oh, sorry. Didn't see you there. Let me explain the interim house drama competition. So this spring term, you have been given the challenge of taking on a character and performing a monologue. The competition is open to all students in years seven to 10, which means so many of you can take part. Now, every single submission will be awarded a silver merit and the best male and female performances from each year will be awarded with a gold merit and 5,000 points for their house. The house that receives the most points from silver merits, from participation, from the best performances will win overall. Now, the theme of our monologues is crash. The idea that we're choosing a monologue, rehearsing it, acting it, submitting it, and receiving house points. So, looking at the slide, you are going to choose a monologue from a selection provided by Miss Redford. Ah, you are going to rehearse, learn your lines, think about your vocal and physical skills to create a character. Act, you must ask someone at home to film your performance. Submit it, you're going to upload it to a Google form, including your name, your form and your house. And of course, house points. Silver merits for everybody that enters and let's see who wins. Now, I know for a fact that students in Franklin not only act, but are very dramatic and participate. So I have no doubt that we will be coming first in this competition. Good luck to the rest of you. And last but not least, it's a battle in the kitchen. Hi everyone. Our final competition is a DC competition and it is Ready, Steady, Cook. Now, the idea is that you create two dishes one compulsory main dish and either a starter or a dessert. Now the trick is you're only allowed to use 10 ingredients from our list below, but you are able to incorporate one special ingredient. Once you've created both of your dishes, you then need to take a picture of them or a video of them, and that must include a paper label of your name, your yogurt and your dish name, and also the 11 ingredients that you used. You need to send that picture or video to your head of house or Miss Avalano by uh, the 5th of February at 4 p.m. Now, this is open to all your groups, so we're incredibly excited to see what you've come up with. But I know overall that it is going to be a Pankhurst win because we are flipping good.
But remember... Who wins? You decide.